All right, welcome back to Modern Mondays here at Guardian Games. We're Portland Paper, and I am hanging out with... Vinny Balistrieri, back in the booth. And bringing you... Know, we're missing missing Ian this week, you know. Uh, Vinny took one for the team, sacrificed all the fun and games to, to hang out with us in the booth. Yep, sacrificed my 1-3 record I would have tonight. <laughs> and let's see what we've got for a matchup for... Uh, Match number one here. Yeah, we've got uh, Nat on the right playing uh, RB Rock. Uh, Croak says, uh, Dothy Voidwalkers, Turox, uh, and Finn playing some, uh, some mess of affinity. Uh, we'll see what version he's playing. Yeah, I'm wondering if it's going to be like an 8-cast thing. Are we playing frog mites? Are we playing uh, what what legendary creatures are we playing, if any? Yeah, and I think I saw Finn draw a springleaf drum. So turn two, unless Nat answers this ornithopter, I think could get pretty brutal. That's always interesting. I feel like being able to maximize your lines with affinity and not expose yourself. Um, where a lot of people would just like play out the springleaf drum, but if you're not going to like necessarily use the mana, and it, yeah, it depends, really, what uh, what the context of your hands looks like. Well, I think the sequencing too on springleaf drum into creature instead of creature in play, because um, I think if I'm that, I, I will I'll swing all day with a ragged man into an ornithopter. Like I could, that's totally fine. Or is that is that a midnight that we or no? What is that? It's an ornithopter. It's an ornithopter. Yeah, yeah, the uh, Kaladesh or Aether Revolt version, whichever whatever set that was from. And I, Nat's resolved, Dragon Rage Channeler. No red mana from Nat. All right. Let's see. One second here. Doing a little. Let's try a little refresh. There we go. Well, wow, some bonkers bananas <laughs> just happened. <laughs> oh, okay, those weren't in play. You never know with okay. affinity. Yeah. We had a little video video froze there for a second, restarted, and we thought that Finn had uh, just spewed the entire hand, but really it was a hand disruption spell. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, uh, what Inquisition into cranial plate? Cranial plating is a great target to take with Inquisition. Uh, it's funny, Inquisition I think versus the new affinity decks has gotten much worse. Uh, versus like the eight cast versions uh, that are also playing Urza. It's like hard to, um, hard for that card to be good. Yeah, it's always, it always feels great when you can get a free uh, card to cast off of your Ragavan hit. And then when it also has power and toughness and then cost you zero, that's, uh, that's so it's pretty uh, fair, fair to great hit off the Ragavan. Yeah, Nat. Oh, I guess Nat has a treasure up. Um, I feel like the, the opportunity to bolt something in response to casting Springleaf Drum or killing a creature in response to Springleaf Drum is often a play that's overlooked. Ooh, all right, here we go, here we go. We're on the dump, dumping the hands turn there. Um, but a removal spell is going to be able to kind of ping things when we go to spend mana with plating to equip, probably. Curious how many Culligan's commands Nat's playing in this deck. That can be pretty brutal. Yeah, I'd guess one to two. I wonder if, uh, I think as Finn, you have a hard decision if, I mean, if I'm Nat, I would just go to combat, but a hard decision on if you want to trade your frog might for a Ragavan. Um, which feels like you should you should probably make that trade, but also with Cranial Plating in play and a Spring with Drum and only two creatures, I think that there's a, there's a lot of thought that can go into that, yeah, uh, I that think trade. Trading it is important at this point because Nat's going to keep getting treasures, <laughs> and then Nat's going to actually have a fair amount, like, Nat will have metal craft with another treasure, so. True. Yeah. Um, I wonder if, it's, I think it's important to point out here, Nat's missing instant from his graveyard to turn on his Dragon Rage Channeler, which we can we could see some interesting combat plays where like swing with the Dragon Rage Channeler and then pump it up after blocks happen. Dothy Voidwalker's also very good. Whoop, oh. whoop. That lightning bolt actually went right into our systems. Uh, I think it must have hit the cable there and blinked <laughs> the things a little bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, 
And now, now we do have delirium from the RB rock side. for six. Um, you know, it's interesting. I think in modern overall, we don't see a lot of decks that go very wide. So I think once that strategy starts working, uh, it, it it can get out of control pretty quickly, even with just one ones and two ones and, and nothing else going in. Nat's trying to figure out if he can cast. Uh, that's not how that works. His exile goes into his exile, I believe is how that's going to work. Um, and I'll draw two I'm not 100% sure, but I'm 99% sure. Chat, what do you think? <laughs> Wait, I think we, so I think Matt had an additional treasure that was happening there. Oh, uh, from the Rega Man. Yeah. I don't think that's how that works. That, still, yeah, uh, so that, still that's off. That's how that works. Uh, <laughs> Finn's got another tap land. So right now we're at regular REL. That shouldn't have happened. Nat's not allowed to do that. Uh, but we're not we're not judges here, um, and so we we should probably go. If you do, you want to jump out there and and, and jump into that, Benny? Or you, uh, I mean, we've already to, drawn cards. Uh, we're gonna, uh, <laughs> I think. I mean, I don't blame Nat for not knowing how to play affinity cards on his red red black deck. Yeah, um, yeah I think we can we can. Uh, a lesson will be learned, which is what we come to Modern Magic for anyways. Uh, so Finn made an interesting decision here, I think. So he has a, a eight mana draw two bird guy, uh, Thought Monitor, um, but is choosing to keep up the Urza Saga instead, um, which threatens the block. But I feel like you, I understand that Constructs are very good, uh, but like Nat has a shadow creature and he, like, I, I don't know exactly what Finn's playing or what we're looking for here, but I'm assuming maybe there's some amount of like a, like a Galv Blast if we're playing red, maybe two. We're having a little bit of video problems here, but we're trying to trying to dial that in. So thanks thanks for the patience. Uh, I'm gonna terminate the guy. Trigger. Trigger. Ah, uh, terminate the worst removal spell in all of my. Worse. Okay, <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, for the same amount of mana, you can do something worse, which is Dreadboard. Oof, surveil triggers here. Brutal. Finn being wise about how he uses his mana. Making a duder. Uh, I think that Finn is at one life, which is not a great spot to be against a three-two Dothy Voidwalker. But oh, you know what? Maybe Finn isn't dead if uh, he goes to one, gets Shadow Spear, equips the Shadow Spear, because Nat only has one mana up and has no way to bolt the construct. Nat also is really good at being very, very, very still with his hands on the card. <laughs> right? I keep thinking the video is freezing, so I reset it. But then I look at Finn, and I see Finn slightly shaking. <laughs> they go, oh, the video's okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that that uh, that Darcy came into play just uh, just this turn. All right. It's got it's got to be a good Shadow Spear, right? I mean, I think Shadow Spear from here could stabilize, unless Nat's got a K command. Um, well, we're adding mana, so I guess. Huh. I'll do one, two. Yeah, get Shadow Spear, spend two to equip, play anything. Play an Ornithopter would be good here. Anything to block a Darcy for a turn. I think, was there an Urza in Finn's hand? Whoa. So I think if there is an Urza, you could cast Urza then with a Construct and oh. Shadow Spear be able to equip to that. Yeah. Can you attack this turn? Though? So I think it's hard to know if you should be aggressive here. I think you have to be aggressive, I guess, because otherwise you're just dead. You can't block anything. Yeah, you're like if you Matt happens to have a fatal push for the construct or something. Yeah. Uni, welcome to the channel. Yeah, I, I, I've been liking post Modern. Like, not a lot has changed, but I feel like you... 
against what the meta decks are, especially ones that would have traditionally played Luris. There's all these like kind of flex spots and sideboard <laughs> choices that you don't quite know like what the exact 75 is going to be, so it makes it really interesting, especially post-board. There are a lot of good three-mana cards that are suddenly on the table that you your opponent could play against you. Yeah, there's also a really good seven, uh, seven mana card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, if Finn does have an Urza, I don't think you play Urza here, as unfortunate as that is. Oh, yeah. Love it. I mean, you do love it. You do love a Thought Monitor. I do love a Thought Monitor. <laughs> Finn also hasn't made a land drop yet, so he might be digging for another artifact land, just to, like, have have a little bit more. Oh, all right, plays Island. Yeah, we just want to maximize the amount of life gained this turn, for sure. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. I love the automaton. <laughs> the automaton is very good. Uh, it gets a plus one, plus one counter every time you cast an artifact. Or every time an artifact enters the battlefield. Is that what it is? It has ward two. I think it just happens once a turn, though. Um, but yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just maximizing the number of artifacts. This is. That, I hope that's a fatal push. <laughs> Uh, as brutal as this is, I don't think that Nat is, like, out of the game in any in any way yet. Like, the deck is literally chock full of removal. It is just the Shadow Sphere is what is going to either win the game, or if Nat can deal with that, uh, we'll swing the game back. But right right now, it has definitely, like, the advantage bar <laughs> swung very heavily yes. towards Finn. Yeah, so we'll actually swap life totals here. Uh, Finn will go to 17, Nat will go to 6. They're very focused on the game and not updating their life totals at the table, but I got you, chat. That's where we're at. Our computers thing. We've got, yeah, we've got gre gremlins <laughs> in the machines tonight. Our, our main producer decided, uh, you know, a family engagement was more important than running the stream tonight. So, as much as we we love Ian, you know, we we've got to we've got to fly on our own. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I also haven't been paying that close of attention to what Dothy Voidwalker has exiled. Maybe there's something Nat can do there. Uh, this is, oh, sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, this is, like, a pretty big, like, this is a pivotal point <laughs> yeah. of, of the game. Like, what does Nat have in the hand? This is, like, I think the unfortunate side of Darcy right here is Nat would love to keep back a blocker, but unfortunately, like, has to swing in with his flyers. And Finn has, like, a quick plating to Thought Monitor win the game next turn. He doesn't even need the Shadow Spear. Not, we don't quite have the instant equip plating, which is always a fun thing to, sure. to play around. And it feels like the only way that these decks can do the instant equip um, is with a uh, multiple spring leaf drums. Yeah, with the drums, for sure. Yeah, Nat, Nat is so still. I keep, so I, I, aggressive my, my here with the Void with, Walker. Like, Did the video freeze? <laughs> I wonder... Well, I mean, Void I guess like K Command is really good. Nah, Void even K Command isn't even that good. Void Walker's not blocking, so. Oh, that, yeah, that's true. But like, maybe you keep it untapped to like maybe use its tap ability to do something. Yeah, I don't think there's any real juicy stuff in Exile right now. You take all your permanents, shuffle it, and then flip that many things off the top, and keep the permanents. Well, there's now a thought cast, so having uh, access to a thought cast. From Voidwalker, it seems like it could be good. Oh, I guess you're sh you know, on the short of mana. We now have instant speed, equip, cranial plating, and the ability to swing with three targets. And he has, Nat has two blockers, so I think that's writing on the wall. I don't think there's anything that... I mean, I guess the thing that Finn could do is 
for some reason not attack with the construct yeah the attack with the ward creature the ward creature oh no one dude you were doing it you were so close yes one more yes leave those yes Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think maybe Nat's trying. Maybe if Nat has a K command, he's trying to think about like how to. How to. Uh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. That was interesting. Where Finn five, was just being really five, like, I would say generous shot, to point out that uh, so you, they had the sure. mana to instant speed equip. <laughs> yeah. Like it's usually something I'm not gonna tell my opponent. That's a yeah, <laughs> very friendly, very friendly uh, thing to do. Block here. Oh yeah. We've got it. We gotta have kid command. I think it's a terminate. terminate. Oh. Trigger. Trigger. Don't forget those two triggers. Probably uh, gonna be pretty important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we don't need any more lands from the red black side. I think the other yeah, ca yeah. card in Nat's hand is unholy heat. Uh, heat. Trigger. Trigger. That's pretty darn good. We needed two removal spells to keep going. Now, oh no, Finn still has an Ornithopter. And you know, Nat didn't really give up any, that was a free midnight off of the Ragavan hit, so. True. Yeah. Uh, joke's on me for telling Nat not to attack with uh, his it, Voidwalker. So if we draw one removal spell for this Ornithopter, that's game. That is definitely game. Oh, this is going to be a fun draw. Well, you know what? It might actually be game anyways, because we have a Kroxa in the yard that we're going to be able to cast. Oh, yeah. So it depends what Finn has in hand. I definitely wouldn't play it if it's a card that, that you know, like... Yeah. I, I'd want to... Well, if it's a non-land, I wouldn't play it, because I think I'd want to hold up the bluff of... Oh, Finn making the uh, very smart play of just using his mana to equip. Yeah. So for Kroxa not to kill Finn, it has to be a non-land card that he's holding. Is that right? Uh, yes, correct. Yeah, if Finn just has a land, Kroxa would do it. Ooh, I think it's inter I think equipping the plating is actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think you should equip the Shadow Spear and just hope that maybe you get to gain a life. Because you can instant speed the cranial plating. Well, Nat gets to see if the jig is up or not right now. Four, five, I'm on Team Affinity here. I think Finn's got an, a non-land card. Okay, also interesting, if there is an Ornithopter in Finn's graveyard, um, or there is, you know, there's the Thought Monitor now, that Nat can cast that with the Voidwalker. Um, and be able to have a blocker for this cranial plating to Ornithopter. If, like, so if Nat sees that Finn takes three from this Kroxa trigger, you can just swing all out with your Voidwalker and, and Darcy and then you got the game. Um, but if not, you can get the Thought Monitor back with your uh, Voidwalker. And then mm. just get, it gets pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Even Regavan here is applying like a decent point like, of pressure. Well, I think you have to leave if Finn oh. d discards... Um, a uh, non-land, you have to leave Ragavan back oh, for blocking, but no. not now. Ooh, just put, uh, uh, Oh, that's actually great. I like that. Uh, oh, you know what? The Ornithopter from the Voidwalker won't matter because of the Shadow Sphere gives trample. Or, yeah, oh, I guess the Thought... The thought Okay, Two well, cards matter, though. Now, yeah. let's see. Uh, Finn is going to go to five, and then, yeah, Finn's no. dead. Because uh, oh, now the Ragavan swings, out. yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's why I sh uh, the Shadow Spear equip. Yeah, Finn has no cards in hand. There's no known information. There's no reason not to just swing and win. But people make all sorts of choices in Magic. <laughs> Sometimes they just don't swing and win. Yeah, I mean, you don't, I feel like the, the, we'd have to go back and probably rewatch this and see if there was like a correct line, but a lot of the decisions were, I think, judgment calls, and it's not like necessarily one was better than the other. Yeah. It's significantly easier for us being able to sometimes see each, each person's hand. Oh, it's for sure hand. easier on the outside. Uh, swing out, buddy, swing out. 
You got it. <laughs> you ha you have to attack with the Darcy's. Let's all. let's remove that from the equation. It's true. It's all known information at this point. So I think you just you attack with everything and, and you win. <laughs> Nat's in his own head, I think. No. That, that was people, a win, right? People make all sorts of choices for all sorts of reasons. Uh, and Nat is playing a tapped land. Oh, no. Well, now he has a 6-6. Six, six. How many artifacts are in play here? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No, that's got to be that's got to be game on Finn's side. We just equip and attack, right? I mean, p people make choices for all sorts of reasons, <laughs> but I think you can just equip and win the game. Yeah. Math is definitely hard. Math, math is hard. Combat math is the hardest kind of math. Uh, we've got what? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 12, 12, 11, or 13, 13, maybe, 13. I think. I'm doing my math right. As, math, as hard as math is. You're pretty good at affinity uh, math. I think it's 13. Yes. Uh, I would just say more than five for math. You bet. <laughs> Chat says base Regavan art is the best art. I would agree. Is it base? Is that what you would no, 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 just like the basic. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they pay me the big bucks. <laughs> I looked at the token for Regavan the other day. Uh, there's not... I mean, there's like a little bit of crossover, but I thought there would be more crossover. I thought the token art would be like a direct... Yeah. Like, the that Regavan would pay homage to the token more, but the art doesn't do much. <laughs> not not playing creatures is a good way to avoid this kind of math for sure. Yes, yeah, I, I, I much prefer decks that maybe only play one or two creatures, and then if any at all. So your opponent has to decide. Yeah. So I think actually, if Nat blocks with everything, he's not dead. Am I yeah, dead? but how how do you win? Like your effective, I, I don't know how you win from there. <sighs> you draw. I don't know another terminate. Right. Fatal push. It's got the mana to pay for it. That's nine. Plus one is ten. Plus three is thirteen. He gets plus one from this and then plus three. Oh, and and the automaton's a one one? Plus nine for Or the is that right? Is it one one or a two two? Oh boy, we're stretching here. I'm pretty sure it is a two mana one one. I think so too. It has a lot of abilities to be a two mana two two uncommon. Yeah. Oh wait, yeah, it is four. We're doing group math so here. We've got the three, players. <laughs> players are figuring it out. So I can't. I can't get you like that. All right. I think you also has a black with. Oh no, nope. Nat says that's enough. All right. Well, that'll be a fun one. Fun one to rewatch. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I think I forgot. I forgot that it was a one one. So when I said that Nat would be alive if he blocked with everything, that was not true. But uh, game two. All right. We, we don't know a lot about sideboards, but I can see Nat packing three EEs, which seems pretty good. Eh, seems okay. It's fine. Seems like necessary. It's <laughs> fine to deal with your construct tokens. Uh, you see that Finn's playing, Finn's on blue, assuming there's, you know, there's definitely Urza sagas. There's maybe, uh, there's Urza in the deck. What do you, th what do you think are the, is there a big payoff card in this deck? No, I think it might just be playing red for. <laughs> For the Galf Blast. Okay. It, it could be playing something really cute like Experimental Frenzy. It could be playing like, I mean, if we really want to go off the rails, like I have seen Affinity List with like, uh, what's like the, the it makes two Thopters, Pia Kieran Nalar. That's, that's, that's a sketchy. I set that. off the rails. I set <laughs> off the rails. No, I think it's probably just Galf Blast. Finn might be playing, I mean, for other matchups, he might be playing like uh, his own Alpine Moons okay. to beat other Saga decks, beat other Affinity decks. Um, you know, I thought that the affinity matchup, the tap lands, while they're artifacts and indestructible, which make them very good, like coming to play tapped is a big cost. And I thought that in this matchup that would that would be more costly. Um, that Finn played two lands that came into play 
tapped. Like I thought red black would be able to like ex use that to its advantage to like excel over affinity. Yeah, it does feel like when you're playing that many cards that have like literal affinity or counting the amount of artifacts that you have with like construct tokens and stuff, like sometimes like late game, just the fact that you'd have another artifact is worth like any any spell that you would play or card that you would play that says artifact on it is good. So having yeah. your land drops also add to that count is maybe worth it. That's Definitely true. Definitely slows you down a little. It slows you down in the first few turns, uh, but depending on how what you have to sequence, you might be able to play around, like playing your spells on curve without that really impeding true. you that much. So. Yeah, uh, insect zix. Uh, asked uh, why this type of affinity doesn't play Arcbound Ravager. Uh, and I think because you have less all-in options and there are more removal in the format that is guaranteed removal, right? Prismatic Ending, uh, March of something light that blows me out every week. Uh, <laughs> what, is that, what is that card March called? March of Otherworldly Light. Otherworldly Light. Uh, like it's, it is much more of a commitment to commit things to a target or commit tokens to Ravager, knowing that you might just get exiled. And I, I feel like you only want to be playing Ravager for like two two reasons. One is if you have like a, a card like the Ozolith, or um, you have like Harden or Heart like in the Harden Scales deck, like Hangerback Walker, where you can generate a bunch of a bunch of artifacts off one card or counters, and then be able to move that around. Or if you're playing. Um, the Ink Moth Nexus, where you can go for like a combo yeah. combo kill, but if you're just playing kind of a, a like a more grindy spam the board, like draw a bunch of cards style deck, where you depend on the amount of artifacts that are like in play, I don't think Ravenger is that good. It's not awful, but it's like I, f I feel like the patchwork automaton is like better as that two drop slot in this kind of deck. Yeah, I think the other cost is Urza Saga, that like you, it's very hard when you want to play colored mana in an artifact deck, even with Springleaf Drum, to have eight lands, even six lands that produce colorless and only colorless. Um, so Saga is such a good card uh, that like it, it outweighs putting an Ink Moth Nexus in your deck. And we're going to be getting a little bit of this video cutting out until we get the next round. I'm going to do some, like, cable adjustments, but it should just be for, like, a fraction of a second at a time. So sorry. Sorry if that's annoying. Um, and once, yeah, once we switch matches, we'll jump up and deal with that. Uh, timing round is not accurate. Let's, uh, we'll, once these, if these players go to a game three, we'll, we'll go and update the timing round. We're, I think we're about, like, six or seven minutes behind. Ooh, Nat's hand is chock full of removal with a bobble. So I feel like that seems pretty good. Do we have the turn one Darcy? No, I think we also maybe are missing a black land, but I didn't see the whole hand. It was definitely two heat bobble and the the first strike a legendary creature. Okay. Red land. <laughs> uh whatever. I, I feel like you <laughs> Chat knows what I'm talking about. You really need like Removal spells are great, but Finn's playing like cards that draw him multiple cards, and so you really, if you're gonna have a bunch of removal spells, you want to have that like tempo early threat, or otherwise, you know, you're trading one for one, and then eventually Finn's gonna like start doing two for ones. Yeah, well, I think what you try to play around, you try to, uh, you try to remove instant speed interaction, right, and you try to buy yourself combat turns, um, like you. You let like you want to have a Darcy that's swinging in, and you want to be removing whatever cranial plating is equipped to every single turn. Um, I think if you can buy some extra combat swings plus a little bit of removal, you can probably you can probably uh, get it done. Nat getting sideboard advice from his phone. We were at casual REL, so that's... <laughs> okay, wait, well, I gotta say, good text no, that's someone here. watching the stream texting him being like, hey, you miss lethal. <laughs> uh, Nat has a son, Ezra, that plays, and I, I have, that, would, that would be hilarious. <laughs> I would love to be able to roast my dad on, like, a live magic stream. <laughs> Yeah, I think maybe Finn is also playing white. Okay, it looks like Finn has like hard and double sleeve deck because it almost looks like a Urian deck. That's very yeah. It looks like eighty cards. Stack, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do 
do you think we'll ever see the Uriah the Affinity deck? Because there, there's enough. I mean, <laughs> eight draw two spells gets you through the deck pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, the redundancy in uh, in in Affinity cards is pretty high. Uh, going to five. So yeah, I feel like Affinity is one of the it like out of modern decks. Um, you know, there's like, several different versions of Affinity, but I think they all mulligan really poorly. Like, even though you do have mm. cards like Thoughtcast and Thought Monitor, you just you need a critical mass of like permanence on the battlefield for your deck to function. And so, yeah, when, whenever you have to mulligan, it's it's not good news. And going down to five is yeah, those are the cards that make the mulligans bad, right? Like, I don't want to draw three Thought Monitors <laughs> and two lands. Like, that's like not a hand I want to end up keeping. At least spins on the draw, so you're effectively just down one card in terms of like card parity for the beginning of the game. True, true. Yeah. Okay. So we see, we, he is playing white. Um, we see the the blue white duel is in their hand. So you know what card I've been putting in my sideboards recently? What card? Stony Silence. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, with Moonsnare prototype, that's like a real good card. Uh. Not having to read whatever's on top, which I'm sure we will <laughs> get a chance to take a look at here. Uh, you know, it's a little unfortunate as the affinity player. I, I see that Finn has a, I think he has a Galf Blast uh, in hand. That the fear of Regavan like forces you to keep in that removal that maybe you wouldn't keep in if you didn't have to deal with the Regavan. Oh. Looks like Nat kept the hand that was really good, but then needing a land drop and huh. missed it off. Bobble two heats, like I don't know. I'm still, I'm still think that's pretty good. Yeah. I, I mean, Finn's had a pretty slow, slow setup here. Yeah, I mean, multi five uh, with nothing to power the Springleaf drum. Oh, that was a cleanup step, I think. Yeah. Huh? Could could it be worse? Could be worse. Yeah, putting crooks in the yard is never that bad. Okay, that is a rough card when your opponent has been stuck yeah, on one. Yeah, that Ward 2 is going to car get carried away here. If Finn also has a plating, this might this might be a fast game. Uh oh What is it? Oh, another one. Oh, jeez, yeah. This is going to be really hard to come back from for that. Was there a... Uh, I don't know... Patrick Automaton's text, but maybe there was a miss, missed opportunity to get an extra counter there. You can get one counter a turn, so you can get a counter only on your turn, turn and then on the opponent's turn, but oh. only once per turn does it get a counter. So. Oh boy, we've got Nettle Cyst in hand. Finn has a land, we are equipping Nettle Cyst this turn, which is huge. I really like the design of uh, Ward mm. instead of like hexproof. Yeah, agreed. Well, I was with Nat. I agreed. I should. I, I kept Nat's hand all day. I, I, <laughs> I like having these conversations in the booth because we get to see how how each player would would think about a certain situation. I would trust your affinity keeps more than mine, though. <laughs> Uh, I would keep all of my indestructible tap lands at home. That's what I would do. <laughs> oh, naturally drawing the shadow spear is so good. Yeah, it's okay. I'm going to look at Patrick Automaton because I thought it was once per turn and we just got two triggers there, but I could be wrong. Uh, just this guy can. This guy can. Attacking for five with nothing to do. That ward two is shutting down all of the removal in Nat's hand. It is not once per turn. You just get you just get a counter on it. Interesting. Better than I thought. There's a. I have a dream of putting a retraction helix onto an ornithopter, which is tap <laughs> tap it bounces something. Uh -huh. Like there's got to be something there. I don't know. <laughs> I do miss I miss Cheerios being a deck. I'll say it. I like uh, sort of, <laughs> I like very linear, spammy, like kind of meme decks, and that was kind of that was a fun that was a fun one to see every now and then. Uh, <laughs> this IOK is just gonna show two There's cards over three. Music, but was that no? No, Nettle says yeah. Uh, all right, well, that's not bad. Not not by some turns. Uh, you know, I don't think that Nat is dead. Dead. 
I think that if we get, uh, yeah, so we're out the nettle cyst. If, if Finn has some dead draws and Nat can pull out two, just like runner, runner removal spells, right? Right, right now his. Finn, Nat, dead on board. No, no, Nat's one shy of dead on board. Oh, but not when you equip the yeah. Shadow Spell. Yeah, so I think this is 10, right? So that's yeah. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 4 is 10? Is that right? Um, yeah. Yeah, fuck. Well, I need to land before I got it. I go down to 1. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, we also know that Finn did not draw a artifact. That's a pretty good card to draw, though. Ugh. Yeah, the one lander. Uh, wow, Patrick Automaton's ward, uh, doing work. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, <laughs> that was an attainable game until the Automaton came down. Yeah. Just because, you know, Nat had a bunch of one for one, 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 one